What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm really excited to do something that I've never done before and that's go to an auction and pick up a car. Now I didn't buy this car at an auction. A friend of mine purchased it. Um, he just so happens to own a pie, buy here, pay here lot in Kansas City that I own a small portion of. Um, some of the benefits of having that is I get a dealer plate. So I have a, a dealer plate which I put on the ML and the E55. Um, and so he called me and said, hey, I bought a car, can you go pick it up? Uh, maybe we'll sell it or I'll come pick it up and he can fly down or something like that. Anyways, I have one parking spot left, as you can see. It just so happens that it's another Mercedes. So I'm excited to get that. Um, it's a convertible, so I'm not gonna reveal what car it is until we go out there, but stay tuned. We're gonna go to the auction right now. All right, folks, we are at Mannheim out in Fort Worth. Um, this is gonna be a fun little mission. So the auction itself is closed. It's open Monday through uh, Friday. Today is a Saturday but they do have um, transport and pickup on Saturday and Sunday. So you can come and if you're transporting a car, pick it up. And so I'm at this facility, which is enormous, right? And I just walked through some random security gate and I said, hey, can I pick this car up? And he's like, okay, but we have no, no golf carts to take anywhere. We have nothing. And it's like quarter mile the other direction. So he's like, walk around this big building, try to find it. Fortunately, it's a overcast, windy day here in Dallas, not too hot. If it was like a thousand degrees, this would really suck. First thing, I've got to find the car. Second thing is, just will the car start? He's like, we have battery boxes, we've got no way to jump it. So if this car, if I, first of all, I can find it, and then if it doesn't start, like I am screwed. I got to take an Uber all the way home. And I just took one 40 minutes out here. So I'm going to keep walking till we find this thing. Did find a couple of interesting cars. Two R8s, matching R8s here, white and a really dark gray, beautiful color here. Just hanging out, not really sure what the story is on these. V10, great engine there. Uh, unfortunately, no gated manual. This is, must be a newer one, so let's see. 2018 Audi R8, beautiful, love that color. Let's see if we see anything else out here that's very cool. I did tell you guys what I'm looking for a Mercedes. Unfortunately, this is not the one. This is a CL600, very cool um, two-door Mercedes here. Massive V12, um, pretty nice interior as well. Unfortunately, this is not the car we're looking for. This is a 2005, um, very neat. What we're looking for is an SLK350 from 2006, and it's black, really like that at CL600. I wish that was the one. Um, unfortunately, I'm in the lane that I was supposed to go to, but I don't see the car, so we gotta keep going, gotta keep looking. Again, not the car I'm looking for, but here's a white C63 AMG, 63S, white with a black top. Very nice. Two-tone interior, similar to my E55, although much nicer. Oh, I like that. You can see the uh, big heads-up screen there. Very cool. V8 twin turbo. What year is this? 2020 very nice gotta like that so the search continues so as i said i'm looking for a 2006 mercedes slk 350 it's a little two-door black roadster um the good news is that i don't see a lot of similar cars out here so if i'm gonna have to walk this whole damn lot um you know you can you can there's not that many cars out here i mean there are but they're spread around so i should be able to see this thing because i don't see a lot of two-door roadsters sitting around i'm a bit worried that it's going to be double parked right there's going to be a car in front and behind it hell i'm worried i'm even going to get out of here but uh we'll see we gotta keep looking beauty 2005 lexus lx 470 i used to have a toyota land cruiser great car just too slow for my taste this is a beautiful gray i don't know it's a meteor granite metallic or something but beautiful gray here really nice interior um yeah this is a nice truck i wonder if this thing is sold but that is uh that is really nice i uh, love that color so uh, at least we're going to look at some fun cars but still no sign of the slk all right so now you can see Here's all the various lanes where they do the auctions. Um, I'm gonna just walk up in here and see if I can find somebody. Because the only guy I've been able to talk to is a security guy. And he just said, yeah, it's over here, that lot. But I'm gonna see if I can find somebody that might be able to point me in the right direction. They may have moved the car, but I mean, this is just a wild goose chase. Things are not looking good here, folks. Uh, I've stumbled 
into what looks like the newer dealer lot. So newer cars, um, see a bunch of Volkswagens over here, a lot of Fords. Um, in fact, what I'm about to show you is all Fords that look pretty new. And there is a harem of very colorful Mustangs in this section, 5.0, GTCS. I don't know that much about Mustang, but I mean, one, two, three, and there must be 30 of them in here. I, ooh, I do like this uh, 5.0 with a racing stripe in that purplish blue. That is very nice. Uh, so, yeah, we're seeing uh, a lot of nice Mustangs, but no CLK 350s. So this is this is this is bad. This is bad. So this must be the dealer section where. Um, specific dealer cars come in and then over where I was is probably where it's just random trade-ins and <clears throat> things like that that we got our CLK so uh, I don't know I gotta I gotta make another pass all right guys I talked to my buddy who uh, bought the car that is well versed in this kind of thing and he called or I called him and he said okay it's in a different location you got to find this lot I was like, well, I don't know where it is. Uh, I gotta find a lot. He said, just go back to the gate guy. He'll tell you. I'm like, dude, that's like a mile walk away. He goes, just get in the car and drive it. And I was like, you need any car? He's like, yeah, the keys are in it. Just go and drive it up there. I said, uh, all right. So now I'm in the uh, C63S AMG. So it's the closest one. And I was like, yeah, I wanna drive that thing. So we're about to take this thing uh, about a mile down the road here. All right, I'm getting out of this thing. I don't know what's going on with this uh, C63, but it must be in limp mode or something because that was not very much fun. So, all right, let's go see what this guy says. Okay, gate guy gave me some new instructions. Uh, turns out I did not have to walk a mile on the other side of the building. It was much closer to the front of the gate. And there it is. 2006 SLK 350. Let's look at that. Slight bit of damage here, nothing bad. Let's see. Looks good. God, I hope this thing starts. SLK 350. All right. Go. Let's see. Oh, yes. Success. I'm not going to have to walk home. Well, let's hope. Pretty clean, looks like. You know, a little dirty. Interior looks pretty uh, pretty clean. In fact, here's the security thing. They don't even have it on here. I mean, I could just, I could just jet out of this place. Let's walk around the front. Never driven one of these. Check out the brakes. Uh, not bad, just a little, a little dirty. I got some scuffing here, pretty minor, a little bit of minor bump damage on the bumper. Looked like it bumped into something. Um, pretty sharp though, it's not bad. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can open, open up the hood. V6 in this one. I thought this thing had a V8, but guess not. Sounds pretty good. A little bit of a tick over on this side. Maybe a belt, but overall, not too bad. All right, we're gonna uh, get in here and take this thing for a little spin, make sure it runs, drives good, transmission shifts good, and then we'll be taking it home. Taking our test drive here in the SLK. There's the one other person that's actually in the lot coming towards me. So far, so good. Ooh. All right, a couple of hard pulls here. It says 15 miles an hour right here, but I don't know. Started up just fine. Let's see if we can get up to speed a little bit. Shifts pretty good, pretty clean shifts. That's a good sign. Big creaking here, a little dirty, a little dusty. But you know, my buddy bought this uh, a few uh, few weeks ago. Got a half ton gas, which is good. 
He bought this a few weeks ago. Let's check out the brakes. Oh, brakes are good. So it's been sitting for a while. I'm just happy it started up. Uh, looks like the um, the nav is kind of shot here. Let's see if we can um, open up the roof. I'm not sure. I know how to do this. Let's see. How does this work? Let's see. Here we go. Oh. 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 Is it closed too? Or do I keep holding it down? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. Some open top. This is actually a nice day for, uh oh, parking brake. Yep. There we go. This is a nice day for driving around with no top. All right. I think we're good. All right, I'm gonna give my buddy a quick call, give him a report, and we're gonna head home. All right, one more thing here. We're gonna check. I did bring my scanner, so I wanna check this out. I mean, my buddy's bought this, so it's his car, but we could always take it and send it back to the auction. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and run this. This isn't the best of scanners, but see if there's any codes, recurrent codes. Intake manifold runner control S closed bank one. Hmm. I don't know what that is. I'm not seeing any codes on the there, but P2006, that sounds like a uh, exhaust uh, type leak. So nothing too crazy. So, okay, we're gonna put our dealer plate on and we're gonna head home. All right, guys, I'm back home. Uh, we just drove about 37 or so miles from uh, the auction place. I uh, gotta say, this thing drives pretty good. It's got a V6 in it, 3.5 liter, I think. Um, good power, brakes are good, a little bit of slight shutter when you're braking hard. Uh, but other than that, like, it's a solid driver. I mean, it's it's a pretty good little car. I, I like it. I've got the top down, obviously. A um, couple things I did notice, of course, as soon as I got close to the house, the check engine light came on, and I ran the codes, and it looks like it's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... System two lean at idle bank two, system two lean at idle bank one, intake manifold runner, closed bank. So this could be uh, some sort of exhaust or uh, maybe it's um, spark plugs. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go look into it and see if we can figure it out. Again, the plan for this car between myself and my buddy is I would like to sell this thing within 30 days. So uh, I think it's probably gonna need a detail. I gotta go around the car and see what all it needs. Um, one thing I didn't notice here is seat belt is here, but it's not connected on the bottom of the lap. So I've got to, uh, probably just missing a bolt that just has got to go in down at the bottom. Um, other than that, the um, nav unit here is, uh, it actually is working, but it's kind of, you can't really see it very good. So that needs to be replaced. So I'm thinking uh, replace the nav unit, maybe get a nice detail because the paint is got some swirls and stuff. Nice detail, a nav unit. Um, just check the check engine lights, things like that. Make sure the car is good. And then we will try to get it for sale. So goal is sell this thing in 30 days. If anybody wants it, let me know. Obviously we're gonna clean it up a little bit, uh, but stay tuned. Thanks for watching.